from Joe Hansen, who's saving another Black Sabbath Sunday. Joe, you rock, bro. He wants me to put my favorite Black Sabbath album, Volume 4, against my favorite ACDC album, Power Age. This is going to be so hard to do. I mean, I already did it, but it was hard, you know? I do love Volume 4 more. Volume 4, let me tell you, you don't need drugs. You don't. Put on volume four, man. It gets me fucked up. So good. All right. First song, Wheels of Confusion versus Rock and Roll Damnation. Wheels of Confusion slash The Straightener. Definitely going with Wheels of Confusion. Next, Tomorrow's Dream versus Down Payment Blues. ACDC wins that one. Down Payment Blues. I like more than Tomorrow's Dream. Right on. Next. Changes versus Give Me a Bullet. Like, you know, man, I love Changes. I do love the hell out of that song. I think it's great. But, you know, Give Me a Bullet to Bite On, something to chew. Give Me a Bullet to Bite On, and I'll make believe. I'll make believe it's you giving that to ACDC. All right, next. FX, he wanted, uh, Joe wanted me to put FX with Supernova, like an intro, right? It, it, and it's going against Riff Raff which is one of the best songs off Power, Power Age. But Supernova is one of the greatest songs ever, period. You know? Frank Zappa loved it. Did you know that? Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going with Supernova. I like it more than Riff Raff. All right? Next, uh, Snowblind versus Sin City. Again, two classics. i got to go with Snowblind. My eyes are blind, but I can see. And I, damn, do I love Sin City. It's tough, I'm telling you, this is a tough one. Next, what's next to the moon versus Cornucopia? Another really tough one, because what's next to the moon is kind of like the underdog song on this album. Tie my baby to the railroad track. Man, that song rules. Everything is coming back. I didn't mean to kill that woman of mine. It was a heart attack. That was, is awesome. Not was. It's eternally awesome. Um, and I'm giving it to Cornucopia. <laughs> I like Cornucopia more. I gotta go Cornucopia. It hurts. All right, next. Gone Shooting versus Laguna Sunrise now. Again, I love both of them. Laguna Sunrise is gorgeous. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous song. I absolutely love it. But I'm going with Gone Shooting. I got to go. That song is just too good. Got to give it to Gone Shooting. Another really underrated tune, even though it did appear on the Beavis and Butthead soundtrack and movie when they were in the desert. Remember that? All right. Next. Um... Uh, did I say I went with Gone Shooting? I'm pretty sure I did. Up to my neck versus St. Vitus, Vitus Dance. I got to go with St. Vitus Dance. Talking about an under, like, you know, um, Gone Shooting and What's Next to the Moon, how underdog, St. Vitus Dance to me is like the underdog song on this album. Love it. It wins. All right, then we end with Under the Sun versus Kicked in the Teeth again. I have to say, yeah, this is even tougher than Snowblind and Sin City. This is the toughest track by track on these two albums. And one of the tr the toughest in track by track history. To pick any song over either one of these songs is going to hurt. It's super close, but I'm going with Sabbath. I'm going with uh, Under the Sun. Super close, though, I got to say. So, Joe, this is the final score. And I want to thank you, buddy, for the donation and the track by track and saving another Black Sabbath Sunday. You rock, my friend. And everybody out there still watching, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Ring the little notification bell and leave your comments below. What, you know, which one you like more, Volume 4 or, you know, uh, Power Age or, you know, or you could do your track by track. I love reading shit like that. I really do. 
And uh, like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gob.